Hi, I'm Owen from Square Balloon. We've been dealing with MailChimp and email marketing for about uh, 12 years now, and we're registered on the uh, MailChimp Experts directory, so we are we are pretty good at this stuff. And today I'm going to teach you how to do uh, add your Google Analytics tracking to your MailChimp campaign. So when you go into Google Analytics, you should know uh, which campaigns worked better than others in terms of driving traffic to your site. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you've got the integration with MailChimp working. So you click on your your name in the top right, my apologies the logo's on top of it, and you click on connect, and then you click on integrations. Within here you will see one called Google, so let's click that, and then we need to click the connect button. So I'm going to uh, allow it and connect it. So now it's told me that the integration is set up, so that's great. I can test the connection. Okay, so it's very happy that it's got um, everything it needs. Um, so now if we go to campaigns, and I'm just going to open my test campaign. Now if we scroll down the bottom, we see settings and tracking. Uh, I'm going to click edit. And now you'll see the Google Analytics tracking option here. If you haven't installed the integration, that will be greyed out. So if that is greyed out for you, that's the problem. You need to do that integration step first. If you've already done it, then it doesn't matter. Um, on here, I actually find it a little easier to read with, um, with hyphens. So I'm going to do that. I just find it, when I'm looking at my analytics campaign, I find it a little easier. You might want to give it a, rel um, a, a proper name that helps you. So um, let's just say um, MailChimp video campaign. And I'll do a couple of dashes to make that clear. Um, you can also do some other things. So using conversations to manage replies will mean that people can reply to your email. I usually turn that on. Just make sure it's monitored and, and you've got it sorted. Um, Auto convert video. I haven't got any videos in this, but you probably want to do that. I personally would never uh, put a video within a campaign. I would always put an image anyway, so I never need to do that. Um, track plain text links. So if someone hasn't got HTML as their preference, it will send a, a plain text email. So you obviously still would like that to be tracked. There's no need not to. E-commerce link tracking. This isn't an e-commerce campaign. But if you are running an e-commerce campaign, you would definitely want that tracked. And goal tracking, so you, you'd like to know which uh, which pages they visited, as well as, you know, they may click through the link to a blog item, but then they may go on to other pages after that. You would still want to know that um, perhaps a form was filled in, but it all originated from the email campaign. Um, okay, so now I'm going to save that. Now you might be wondering where to find this data in your Google Analytics account. So what you need to do is you need to go to acquisition and then you go to campaigns and then all campaigns. This isn't showing one at the moment, but um, if we had just sent an email campaign, then it would be. Uh, and you will see it as per the URL that we just showed you a second ago. So if I go back to MailChimp, I click on my edit on my settings and tracking. And you can see here the title for the campaign. So we know it's a campaign in Google Analytics. This will be the title. So when we go back to our Google Analytics and we're in campaigns, that title will be what shows up in the campaign column here. So if you want it to be um, recognizable um, and easy, just name it whatever you want. Um, sometimes it's useful to have the date in there. Sometimes it makes it harder to read. I much prefer having hyphens in there. I find it a lot easier to read. You could make it lowercase if you wanted to. Um, that's where it will appear. As a bonus point, you could install the uh, Campaign Monitor email dashboard. It's totally free. Um, you can see the URL up here, but I will put that in the comments as well. Um, all you do is, is there's a lot of the article you could read if you want, but if you want to skip that, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there's a section uh, how to install it. So you've got Google Analytics installed already, I'm hoping, 
Uh, if not, you need to install that first, and then you just click on this button. And here we go. So I will um, add it to my default view. Click Create. And now it's under customization and dashboards, whenever you need to find it. And here is um, an example of the data that you can get. So you can uh, you can see I, I obviously haven't sent a campaign recently, um, but you can you can check how many people came from email and um, that sort of thing. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you need any help with Mailchimp, please do get in touch via www.squareballoon.co.uk. Um, we are MailChimp experts, we're happy to build HTML templates, we're happy to give you consultancy, we're happy to run campaigns for you, uh, whatever you need I'm sure we can help. We have uh, well over 12 years experience, um, most of the time we don't actually approach people to do this work, they come to us, so um, that just shows you how good our reviews are on the MailChimp expert directory. Thanks for listening.